Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to try and make a little video, a little tutorial on shoot through spine in the OR. Um, obviously I'm in a floor room, but uh, I'm going to work with what I got here. So for shoot through lumbar spine, which we do most often, the patient will be prone on the table. Anesthesia will be at the head of the patient. Um, the surgeon may be on this side. What you're going to do is you're going to use the um, cassette holder. It, yours will be on wheels, mine is not, um, but I'll show you how to put that up. So you're going to bring your cassette around the table, put it in the holder, and then the scrub tack is going to cover it with a blue drape before you bring it up close. So my sort of simulation here, I have a portable cassette holder. You're going to have to wheel yours right flush against the table after your surgical tech has wrapped it with a blue sterile drape. Don't do that to your real patient. You're going to push it flush against the table and I feel underneath the sterile drape and I feel for the table so I go flush to the table. I hopefully has someone working with me. I show them where the top corners of my cassette are. And I also put the bottom of my cassette at the where the slope of the butt is on the patient. So it kind of slopes down here where the butt then leads to the legs. So I put the bottom of my cassette there. And right up against making sure I'm not crooked for grid lines. Your portable machine, you're going to park perpendicular to the table at the foot end. Don't pull too close to the sterile field. Pop the silver button out. Bring your tube out. Rotate to your lateral. Watch your collimator that you don't have an angle on it. And then I kind of bring my tube up a little bit and look for the shadow on my grid cassette. And then I find my center point. You want to make sure you can see shadow at the metal marker onto the plate. So I'm about, let's see, let me measure and see where I'm at. So I'm about 50 inches right now. Obviously you brought your name up on the screen here. It'll be spine single view. So I usually just pick either lumbar spine or cervical spine, whichever one I'm doing, and set technique from there. So digital Shimatsu lumbar spine shoot through in the OR, um, around 4 or 50 at 90, um, 63, 95 for a bigger patient, something like that. So then what I'm going to do when I'm all set, I'm going to ask the anesthesia, please hold respirations. This will help me reduce any motion on my image. And then I'm going to say ready for x-ray and I wait for everybody to move at least six feet away. At that point, I can then rotor and exposure and uh, shoot through and then it will come up on your screen here and you're simply just gonna um, make sure that we can see the metal marker and mark it with a cross table just being aware of where you are in the room anytime you're circling around a sterile field you want to face that sterile field you don't want to ever put your back to a sterile field because you're most likely a little bit easier going to cause some contamination um, so when you're circling around to then get your cassette, you want to face the table, wear gloves, because that surgical tech who was just working on that patient, they put that sterile drape on there. Um, so don't then go take the sterile drape off with your hands without um, putting some gloves on. So you'll circle back around after the exposure is taken, take your grid cassette um, away, circle back around, put this back in park, drive off.